I've been here for 30 years in Lompoc. It's a bedroom community of Santa Barbara. It's a beautiful scenery. A lot of people work in Santa Barbara and then they have jobs here on the base and to it from the federal penitentiary we have here. Since we had the government shut down in January, so a lot of those employees that worked at the prison weren't getting paid. One of the co-managers here at the store, his name's Lewis, he came up to me and said, I'm going to donate $25 to the prison. They're going to come and they're going to purchase some stuff. I said, okay. So it's a border group for their employees at the federal penitentiary where they, once a week, they get together and they do a pizza party. So they came through my line and I said, you know, Lewis, I'm just going to pay the rest of the balance off and help them out. It's just something that I just felt that I wanted to do because, you know, the government was shut down and they, there was been already a month. They didn't know when they were going to get paid and something that just told me that I wanted to do that from my heart. And they've been a part of our community ever since I've been at the store since 2000. A lot of times they would come in for many, many years. They would purchase bread from us. They would come in buy water from us. And they do become your family. You do talk about how their children are, how their lives are, their husbands and wife, you know them, personal on a personal basis. We just want to make sure that we're just taking care of everyone. We don't want to leave anybody out, you know, especially for zero hunger, zero waste. It's been an honor to have won this award. I just, I'm just in shock. <laughs> I'm just in shock. I just I want to thank our store director here, Antonio, our co-manager, Fusco, Kroger, and everybody here at the store has really has gotten behind me. We're like a family here, so it's really something important and it is exciting. <laughs>